right here. We worked last week. I get these grips. Boom. I shrimp my hips. My knees go to the middle. And I get my feet posted on the hip. We worked a couple fun options as far as that arm drag and where we can go from there. So those of you who missed it last week, we kicked me out, my arm drag, did all sorts of fun stuff, right? Great if we want to go ahead and sweep, but today we're going to work on a couple just simple attacks as well as a couple different ideas as far as finishing differently. So when I'm here, I'm working right, all I'm going to do, post one foot up, and I like to go either to the bicep, or I will actually go to the foot of that, right to the shoulder here. Now, I'm going to push him back, and I'm going to pull everything in as I shoot my hips up off the mat. Okay? Now, once we're here, simple triangle finish to start. We're going to cut the arm across, bring our knees down. I grab his head behind his neck, post my foot. And one of the big details I see us mess up a lot of the time is, we try to close our triangle, our foot is coming across his back. Where, when I'm here, I want it in, in line with his shoulder. Does that make sense? So a lot of the time I feel like we lock our triangles like this, and we're like, man, I can't, can't get it right. Where, had we just brought our knee, our shin forward a little bit, it locks up very quickly. So the difference is, if I'm here without Austin, a lot of you guys have your shin kind of pointed back, not quite at that 45, but I want to have it at this 90. So that way I can close. A couple other details we mess up. A lot of you guys lock on your foot. Lock on the shin bone and arch your foot up. It'll tighten up that calf. Just overall tighten up that foot. So I'm here. Same thing, going to that open guard. I shrimp, I get here. And let's say I'm trying to sweep it. It's not working. I'm trying different stuff. I can't get the knee. Boom. I'm going to create that pressure and then pull and shoot my legs up. Once we get here, just working on finishing that traditional triangle, I'm going to show some magic tricks after that. Questions on this? Yeah, like it, it would be like a half spider or a lasso, like for some of the people. So, like when I'm here, I'm going to like a spider guard grip. I'm not a big spider guard guy though, because I feel like you're putting too much stress on your own grips. So I, what I like to do is I like to just put it right here on the shoulder, so that way it looks like I'm trying to kick it back, so that way I can pull it. We're gonna work some options out. Other questions on this? Yeah, so the biggest way if I want to apply more force on the choke, is that what you're looking for, extra force on the choke? Yeah, all I'm looking to do with the foot on the shoulder is create the distance so that my hips can come up. So when I'm here, I'm not trying to like kick him away from me, unless you're in MMA and you want them all. I'm like, hey, get off. But when I'm here, what I'm trying to do is create that space, so that way when I come here, this foot's already up, and I can shoot my hips up. My hip should not be on the mat when I'm hitting this. I'm using this foot on his hip to raise myself up and shoot and catch this. Then I'm working on the fence. Does that make sense? Okay. Other questions here? <coughs> Jiu-jitsu motion, yes. <laughs> so, biggest thing is when I'm here and I'm putting this foot here is, I'm not kicking it towards him. Just out that little bit. Just kind of helps you avoid kicking him in the face. As in most things, um, reasonable defense of, I was trying to do this. You know, unless you intentionally rear your foot back and put the middle of your soul in his face. Most people are going to give you the benefit of the doubt, especially if he dives that way. I'm kicking it out just that little bit to save myself, but I also like to slam that thigh in to help close that triangle. So like when I'm here, one of the underlooked details is when I'm here, I bring this leg out, but when I come in to close this, I'm hitting him with that, that thigh right there. 
I'm coming in higher to bring it up. So I'm kicking it out just that little bit to also help me thick thighs stay wide. So, and then at that point, once you get to the angle, slow, steady squeeze, pull the hip down. Other questions on this? Driller. My life, I'm here with Mr. Sanders. Well, I get here, well, I get to this shoulder, I shoot up, but let's assume that, for whatever reason, I'm not confident in my triangle. I can get the arm across, but I just, I'm not feeling confident here. We're going to go to kind of a nice option A, if the triangle's not feeling confident or it's just not available to us. All we're going to do, I'm going to scoop this hand under here, and I'm going to attach this arm to my chest. The second we, we unlock our feet here, I'm going to pull this arm over and come to this straight arm bar. So a couple things we're doing here. I'm still acting like I'm trying to finish the triangle. I'm still gonna pass this across. And I'm gonna attach it. If it's no E, I'm just kind of gripping underneath the wrist. If it's E, you can set a wrist grip here. I just prefer kind of the simple palm grip under his wrist. I'm scooping this shoulder to make him think I'm cutting the angle for the triangle. But then all I'm doing, falling this leg down, passing this, and going for the arm bar as fast as possible. Alright. So we're here, we get to the same, you know, same position. I trim, get here. I'm working, think, you know, I can't sweep them. Oh, I get to this triangle. I get the arm across, and I start trying to cut this angle, but it's just not working. This is not here. For whatever reason, I just don't think it's there. Boom, here. Coming down, trying to get this shoulder onto the mat. Here, attach this to your chest, and there should be tapping by the time you get there. Pinch the knees, all else fails, break his arm. Question on Yes, beside the cross. Yep, that's the arm. Mark. That's the arm you're attaching. Good question. I like you. That's good question. Tim, I don't like this one. Chip. Glad he breaks you because I don't like him. Yes, dirty wrist locks are always available. If you're ever wondering, man, could I hit a dirty wrist lock here? Yes, the answer is generally yes. So the reason we're going to that shoulder is to stop something happening. So, a couple things. Like when I'm here, the reason I'm scooping and coming here is because the natural reaction is going to be to try to come to this side. So that's why I'm hammering this down, to try to stop him from being able to come this way. Because the natural reaction is going to be circled this way and pull the arm. That's going to feel most natural to them. That's why I'm putting them on the shoulder so that they don't have that exit point or that dexterity. So boom, the second this hits here, I'm in. And this isn't one of those long, like, you hit it and you're trying to... Uh, this should be one about the time his shoulder hits, he should be screaming. You know the arm bars we talk about where it's like, you got me, I can't, you got me, it sucked. And then there's the ones where you're like, get me the fuck out of here, or the scream one, yell, and like, tap! This is the second and third option. This shouldn't be one of those ones where it's like a long extended stretch. This should be one that if I'm not a dick, I can break, you know, if I'm a dick, I just break your arm. Because I think I can hit this fast enough to where you don't have time to tap. If you hit this right, it's that level of tight. So when you're drilling this with your friends, who we actually like each other here. Please, please be careful with this one. This one, this one hits very quickly. All right, other questions? I don't like jamming out. Is there a certain sure way you have your hips as you're finishing? So, biggest thing is when I'm here, boom, I get here. As I'm coming here, I'm driving this knee down. The second this passes, I'm peeing for distance. Boom, popping those hips through. Guys will all understand this analogy. I'm sorry, I don't hear what's real. I pee for distance. You know, I'm here, I'm at the urinal, and I want to back up a couple steps. <laughs> The second that I start to drive that shoulder down, I'm paying for this and driving those hips through. Because that'll be what allows you to extend that arm bar and pull, and I'm almost dragging it up like on, almost like a rope drill, like where you're dragging the rope up to you. Same type of thing where you're dragging that rope up and driving your hips through. 
Other questions on this? You don't get questions. You just get to be confused the rest of the day. Right. Other questions? Okay, one more time, then we'll go to it. We're here with one. Boom. Good things are happening in my life. I get here, I get to the open guard, right? I'm here, boom, I attack this triangle. I'm here, but for whatever reason, I just don't think I can choke them. Maybe you have one of those guys that just has that neck that you can't hit. Maybe you just don't feel confident in it. But I get to here, I can't finish this, this triangle. Attach at the arm, drive this leg over, finish here. Slowly pull the arm to your chest if you're a nice person. If not, you break the arm. Just kidding, I want to do that to Austin. <laughs> I appreciate that. Attack that arm. Slow and steady on this one. With this one, you'll feel the second you feel yourself start to feel in trouble on this one. Let your partner know because this one happens first. Questions, comments, concerns? So I'm here, right? I'm here with Mr. Steers. I shrimp. I get here. So I post into his shoulder, and I'm like, hey, man, I'm going to attack a triangle. Well, Mr. Steers doesn't suck at jujitsu, unfortunately. That's how he got his blue belt. So he's going to tuck this arm and start being like, hey, I can defend this shit. Which I don't appreciate. It's really rude of you to defend what I'm doing to you. Just let me tap you. It's much easier. So once we get here, I'm going to do something that's a little counterintuitive. I'm always telling you guys, cut the angle, cut the angle, right? Here, we're going to square him up. Here. And I'm going to put my outside foot on top. Alright? So instead of closing like this, like I normally do, I'm going to make that middle effort to bring this foot in front. Once we're here, my outside hand is going to come in. I'm going to frame his face. Reach up. Bring this in front. Once it gets here, two options. He can go to the go-go plaza. If he doesn't like that, he can get homo plaza. Option A, option B. Yeah, not even what's fun for you. Sucks to suck at jujitsu, right? Just let me do stuff too. So I'm here, right? Well, I square this up and get this leg in top. So what I want to do is I want to get this arm up so that way I can drive this leg in front of his face. So that way he has two options. If he stays squared into me, all I do is put this under his chin and start choking him. Keeping this leg in. Boom, I'm here. Reach up. Choke him. I'm a dick. If not, you pass the leg. Keep the hip. Hit the omoplata. Wrist locks. All the fun this thing. Questions on this? And we'll walk through it. Mechanics of the questions. Yes. Yes. Because when I'm here, let's say I'm here with Mr. Steers. Boom, he, he attacks here. When I get here, a lot of times people will come this side, but you're going to lose it because he's coming out this way. So that's why you have to come this way with this one in front. And even if he's here, I can still hit it. I just prefer it here because it allows me to drive that up. And once I'm here, I can drive my next set. Or finish. Like I said, the go-go is probably 10% uh, of the time and that'll be what you're able to hit. I like to be able to show it from here because you can press with it and make him give up the old plot. And then the old plot, wrist lock, you know, same stuff as, as always, finishing like we do. Other questions? Alright, so they tuck that arm. Attack that on square up, attack the Oma Plata. If not, or the Gogo Plata, if not, attack the Oma. One. Oh, it depends on what they do. So, a lot of guys, with the second I start to attack the Oma Plata, or the Gogo Plata, I'm here, right? So, boom, I go here. As I start to attack that, he's going to give me the Oma Plata to avoid the go-go. So it's more of a smoke screen. I'm making you make that choice. Either you're going to fight the choke or you're going to fight the shoulder lock. One of the two. I'm going to let you pick. Like we talk about all the time, it's my favorite example. It's the choose your own adventure books for my childhood. I don't care which one, option A, option B, whichever one you choose, I want to kill you at the end of each book either way. 
the longer I can make that story, the more I can, the more chapters in the book where you still die. That's how I win. Make sense? So the longer that chain goes, because here's the thing. Think about the chain that we just hit. I hit the open guard sweep into a triangle. The triangle's not there, I have an arm bar. If the arm bar's not there, I have an omo. If the omo's not there, I have the go-go. If the go-go's not there, I have a wrist lock. That's a lot of moves I can put together. That's a really long chain of moves. Where if I just had the triangle, if he misses the triangle, what do I have? Nothing. But when I have the triangle, arm bar, omo plata, go-go plata, wrist lock. It gives me a lot more options to submit you. Because the higher you go up in rank, guys, the less likely the first move is what works. How often have you seen me in an upper level mount match? Where it's like, oh yeah, the first thing I did is it happened perfectly, they didn't know the count. It's not gonna happen. Even at white belt, it very rarely is the first move that you try that works. It's the setup into the fake, into that thing, into the second move that works. So that's the difference. The more of that you can set up, the longer that chain is, the better off you're going to be. Make sense? Choke, choke. One, two, three.